Welcome back to the Quarterback Film Room. This is your host, Brian Trulin. At number 23 on the list comes Minnesota Viking quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. Um, so we're just going to run through a few plays from 2014 that illustrate what Teddy does well um, and if there are some weaknesses that, that he must overcome here, working hand-in-hand -hand with Norv Turner. Right off the bat here, we head to Miami, and I do want to preface um, that Teddy, uh, number one, he understands defensive coverages extremely well. Instinctually, he knows when and where to go with the football versus specific coverages. Anticipation is also ingrained into his DNA as a thrower as well. So he's got a lot of the raw materials that, that you would like a young quarterback to have from a passing standpoint. A comparison is Matt Ryan in terms of how he throws with accuracy and anticipation. And we're going to head down to Miami here to see that in action. A red zone opportunity Teddy throws without any wasted motion or hitching up in the pocket ill-advised. He does not do that, and he hits chase forward man-to-man uh, -man against a linebacker and puts that thing on a dime. That's a hell of a throw. Again, the nuanced understanding of, you know, of the coverage, which defenders have certain responsibilities, Teddy knows instantly and puts that thing where only his guy can catch it. We're going to stay in Miami. We're going to stay in South Florida. And we're going to go later on in the contest, a throw that was considered by many to be his best of the year. He'll take the snap and he throws early with anticipation to Jennings over the shoulder for six. And there it is. Perfect throw to Greg Jennings, and it's so good, we'll see it again. Jennings runs a deep out or bench, and Teddy throws when he's still on his stem. Again, that's why the Vikings love him so much, because he's the anti-ponder and that he has that high football IQ. And like I said, throwing with anticipation is ingrained into his DNA as a passer. And we're going to head to the Jets game. First and ten, I might add. North Turner does a hell of a job scheming up against quarters coverage here. Teddy will get the snap. He'll step up in the pocket. They already have a quarters beater with Jerry's right. So all Teddy has to do is maintain his composure and let it loose. And Jerry's right's open for six. And we'll see it again. A nice, subtle step up in the pocket. And staying true to his release and form and throwing that thing down the field. Teddy does not have a great arm by any stretch. He's similar to Matt Ryan in terms of how he throws the football. Now his release isn't as clean, uh, but his you know, arm strength is not a staple of his game, but he works around it. Now we go to Buffalo, he gets outside of the pocket, outside of structure, and he stops and throws to the guy who he knows is open. Senses the, uh, you know, the pass rush here under center play action and does a good job of eluding. Again, in a subtle form. And you can see his arm isn't strong. But it's not a huge deal. Now, we're going to head to a negative play that happened this year. And it's something that a veteran Bridgewater probably won't do in the future. But it's a red zone chance against Detroit. And, if, and we'll stop the film because right here, Teddy's diagnosing. We've got the tight end out here who's going to occupy this corner. And then we've got an over route concept for, with a skinny post by Greg Jennings against single high look. So Teddy tries to force the post in, but he's got ample time in the pocket. And if he just steps up in the pocket, he's going to feel the safety moving, and he can hit the over route to Cordero for six. But he predetermines the throw. Um, and that's expected at times from a rookie, but if he steps up, he's got that over route. All in all, comes at number 23 on the countdown. Room to grow, but a great first season, and the Vikings are set for the long haul.